Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Grandad's Farm. Here we are for another episode back in Elm Creek. Just checking on our uh, greenhouses. We've got strawberries still growing in here. We've strawberries outside here, but we do have lettuces growing in there. Once we remove these guys um, like this, we should see uh, some lettuce appear. There we go. But that doesn't seem to want to lift up overly well. Ooh. Oh. Now my middle mouse button's working, which is great. And now it's not, won't stop working. Ah, oh, alright, anyway. That's done, so... Lettuces, as you can see here. I'm trying to make sure I reset. There we go. That's, yeah, I don't know, it's... Oh, playing up like crazy at the moment. Uh, lettuces, so they're 200 kilos, 200 litres. And then over here we have our tomatoes growing. So we did get rid of Grandad's shed. There was absolutely nothing in it. I assume somebody had emptied it out and just repadlocked it and left it. But over here, tomatoes growing as well. So doing really well. Our chickens nearly got a full pallet. I think it might be 1,500 pieces per pallet, maybe. They're... Um, Health 100%, full food, all good to go. I do have a, a first harvesting contract ready to go. Um, yeah, that's really playing up at the moment. I don't know what that is, the problem with that right now. Um, yeah, first harvesting contract ready to go. So I'll head down to field 64, I think it's at, and um, show you guys what's going on. I've got Mark all down there, uh, dropped off all the equipment ready for us, so I'll meet you down there in a second. Right here, guys, we're down here, down the south, what, southwest of the map. Uh, field 64 should be straight ahead, um, pretty much. Might have to cut through this little area here to the right. Been down here before, pretty sure we fertilised that field there, field uh, 67. Alright, so we'll head up this way, up the top of the hill. Yeah, there we go, you can see it now. We've got stuff ready to go. So it's a, a call for a... Uh, potato harvest, which is something I haven't done before, so I'm going to have to see how we go with this. Um, I told Mark we're probably not going to need his help at this stage, but maybe for future harvests we should. Um, right, let's unload this thing. Unfold, I should say. I don't know if there's anything... Oh, pipe out. Yep, okay. Harvest are on. I don't know. Yeah, just harvest on the, the right hand side, doesn't it? So we might need to go um, clockwise around the field. So start right here. Start to say harvest these potatoes. There we go. So it took a little while to start working there. Right, there we go. So it's going to be nice and slow. Should get a full a full trailer load though, I would think, out of these. It's going to be probably hard to make sure we don't miss anything. Right, there we go. It was a late call for the harvest too. I thought we might have been able to get dinner a bit earlier, but... One of those sort of last minute calls, I suppose. I'll try and line this guy up reasonably straight. That, there we go. Actually got a new mod installed so we can zoom right in and see what's going on. Back here. Cutting the tops off. Potatoes are going up the belt up into the top there. That's awesome. It's really, really good. So we're going to be going to be able to get all this in the one trailer load, I think. Have to just have a look and make sure we're not going to pull out into traffic. Last thing we want to be doing. I'm going to call 
causing any any sort of accidents around the place. Not all we're still new to town. Right, so it looks like there's has been weeds in the field. Uh, let me have a look. Has been weeds in the field. They've been sprayed, but it still says there's weeds in them, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. I don't think that beacon's working. Maybe that tells me when it's getting full, because we can't see from here. That might be like a, um, yeah. An alarm, just saying that we're really got a full trailer load. Alright, there we go. It's going to take us a little while to get it done. Hopefully I can keep you guys here for the whole thing and I don't have to throw in any cuts. This is probably the only job we're going to get done today. At this stage, we're still just waiting for other contracts to come through. Um, quickly grab our phone out and look at the sale. So we have this guy. Um, loading wagon. It, it it's It's an option. I guess we don't really have... We're not really cutting any grass at the moment, so it's really pointless at this point in time, but our sorghum, sorghum crop is r just about ready to go, I think. Um, let me throw me hazards on too, that might help. Um, yeah, our sorghum crop is nearly ready to go. Should be tomorrow or next month that should be ready to go, so uh, still waiting for a little bit of extra income. I think this job's worth about Ten or twelve thousand dollars, I think. Which seems like a lot for such a small spot, but you know, we need to make it worth our while. There's no point in coming down here and making a couple of grand. You know, we need to be making decent money for all these contracts. Right, so yeah, there's no point in really having having mark down here. Uh, I don't think, because he'd just be driving next to us in the trailer, but with us having the trailer just there, you know, we can just go and dump off. I say, I wonder why that wasn't wasn't filling up any potatoes for a minute there. See, it's not filling up again now, then it starts and stops. Might be some, some bad spots where the potatoes didn't grow properly. Actually, it might be a little bit delayed. There we go. So it's still counting them now, and we're finished. I'd say it's a little bit delayed. We missed a little spot there. All right, there we go. It's definitely getting taken through there pretty good. All right, I want to get a decent screenshot, but. A little hard, like I'd like to use the player action camera to get good screenshots, but it's hard when the equipment's moving or not moving when you jump out without hiring someone to do it. But we'd probably be, uh, I don't think we're quite halfway yet, but we're probably not far off. Right, is that right? I don't know if that's quite right. Let's move over a little bit. Yeah, looks like we're picking it all up. That's a bonus. So about 80%. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't expect that to happen. Right, let's finish this run first. I figured it would still keep filling it up. I'm surprised it's not falling out the sides just yet. Right, right to the end. Awesome. Wait till it's finished counting what we've got. 9,300 litres. So not bad. Jumping out GCB. Um, I don't know if that's going to be high enough. Um, 
Yeah, that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Um, I mean, this is what the guy's given us, so he, may, he must have done this before. Well, I'm hoping he has anyway. Uh, okay, let's try and... Yeah, okay, so that's a little bit of an issue. I don't know if you can sit it there, that'll work. It's obviously not not ideal. The trailer's definitely too tall for what we're doing. And there's not much we can do to lift it. Like that looks like it's as high as it goes. Just definitely a little strange, but right, let's swing back around and start on our next strip. Shouldn't take us too long to get this done. So we should get the one trailer load. Um, I have seen a few people mention that some of these contracts are bugged. So I'm going to have to see how we go, if we can get contract completed, good, if we can't we may need to cancel it and then just manually put the extra money into our account. Oh, what did we hit then? I didn't see anything at all then, so I don't know what we hit. Alright, looking good. Didn't actually look for that light either. I should have made waited till it was a bit fuller and see if that light actually changed. I assume that's what it is, like a, a load light. Letting us know when we're completely full or close to it. I don't know if we're going to be able to pick this row up. No, okay. Right, there we go. Get that row sorted. Don't want to be missing anything. No out for traffic. Missing little bits um, up this up this way, but still a little bit of the outside view. So the potatoes go through the bottom. Uh, all the way up to the conveyor belt, turned around. I guess they're not really scrubbed or washed, but they're more like brushed just to get all the excess dirt off them and then thrown into the hopper up the top. Definitely, um, see that we're hitting something there. We cannot be hitting that tree. So there's some sort of invisible thing in the way there, I'm not quite sure, but... Right. Okay, achievement unlocked. It's just the beginning. Not sure what that was for, but... A lot of the achievements don't actually tell you what they're for. It's a little strange. So we're missing just a little bit again. So 43, 44%. Getting to the really tight turn now because we're right at the end of of the harvest. So do some tight turns. Should be the last sort of strip and just tidy up a few bits that we've missed. I don't know if we've missed any potatoes down that little bit to the right there or not. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to have a look and see. There's anything in there? It's taken the top off some of it and left some of the weeds behind, so potentially missed it. 
Right, there we go. I have to do a little bit of reversing here. See, we're hitting... Uh, maybe it's... Is it the edge of the map, or is it... No, it can't be the edge of the map. Or can it? I don't know, but that's really strange. Alright, I have to try and... Get this in at the right angle. There you go. So once again, I use down the bottom left-hand corner, set it at zero degrees, or 360, and make sure we're getting that straight line again. Probably veer off a little bit here, and then try and get three wide swath again. All right, so that's 7,000 litres. Yeah, there we go. Reverse this thing back. Missed a little bit. Not a massive amount, but... Just in case we're really close to... completing the contract. I don't know if I'm actually picking anything up there, but we've missed a bit more again. Let's go all the way to the back and then we'll go forward again. Let's see if we get any extra. 7197. Assume we'll get a little bit extra, but not a massive amount. Interesting if this area. Yeah, this goes up a little bit. Can't really see if there's any potatoes that we've missed. So there's definitely rocks. They're not potatoes, they're rocks. Definitely rocks still in the ground, but... Alright, there we go. Looks like that's done. So let's... Wait for that to finish calculating. Let's lift this guy up again. Um, there's no other option. Down and up. Um, that's for a lower trailer, so... Yeah, I don't know try and just get this front corner under there again. Could have used a trailer without that little access bit or the extra height in the trailer. There we go. As long as it's getting it in there, that's the main thing. Now let's have a look. Where do we need to take this? Uh, maybe look at the contract. To the fast food restaurant. Which is where? Oh yeah, right across from home. Right, interesting. Okay, let's um Let's shut that down, otherwise we're just gonna waste extra fuel. Let's head Uh I guess we'll just go up this road, I suppose. Make sure there's nothing coming. So this this mod's really good because you can actually zoom right in and and see what the numbers are, how much speed, time of day, everything. That's good. Not sure if that's causing a little bit of an issue though with me picking up the tomatoes and stuff, so I have to sort of test that out. I hope I'm going too fast here, or seems like the Things sliding quite a bit. Alright, so we'll go left up this way. We'll go over our ski jump bridge. Giants really should have looked at that a bit more. Or at least gave us a warning sign and said, you know, ski jump ahead. Oh, I've been through this part of town already, I think. The dairy. Another business over there. A little bit of road works going on here. Got some drainage or something. They need to fix up. Right, 
right, so across from the highway, definitely sliding quite a bit. I don't know if it's the track duff, it's the weight. Let's slow ourselves down to 50. See if it still slides. I said it may be the speed going a little bit too quick. Check up here, see if we can turn right. Yep, we're good to go. Get into this left hand lane because we have to turn to the fast food restaurant. I don't know where we're going to dump these things because there's no grain dumping spot, so I'm not sure. Alright, so assuming they want these for potato chips or something. Making some fries, some French fries. Alright, so I'm assuming it's the same spot. It's going to be quite interesting. Literally cannot see. There's the door, so let's try and swing it. Swing it into there. Let's get our potatoes done. Let's check on our contract. How far are we? 84%. Contract is done. There we go. We've got a little bit of extra money out of that. Another contract done. So 12067 bucks. Definitely happy with that. Um, no other harvesting jobs at the moment. Did download the mod so now we can refresh contracts. So every hour we can refresh and see if something unique pops up. Nothing new there. So um yes we'll just um head back home. Check out the field. Yeah it looks good. We didn't leave too much behind that I could really see so Alright well that's been our one and only job for today. Um, so we gave Mark a day off. We absolutely hammered him yesterday. and He's been doing quite a lot of work for us. So we just got him to bring the, the trucks down. Tractors and stuff down so we could come down and take care of it. Oops, sorry mate. I didn't. I completely didn't even see him then. Um, so yeah, he said we're going to have the day off. And then we'll see how we go tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow will be the day where we can start our own harvest. Our sorghum or sorghum. Hoping to get that harvester back again. Second hand harvester would be great. Let's go nice and steady through here. Don't want to hit that ski jump again. Right, so I'm not quite sure what's down here. Uh, some sort of silo or something. A oh, baseball field over there. Awesome. Wonder if they've got any baseball in the summertime. Which is now they should be playing some games, so you might be able to go and check out some games if we've got some time off. Support the local, you know, Elm Creek Eagles. Alright, how much fuel have we got? Still telling us we're pretty much full. I don't know if this thing's using any fuel. We haven't used any yet. Still need to get a pressure washer to start washing some things because our tractor's dirty. Pickup's dirty. All that, all that good stuff. Right, make sure there's no one coming. Duck straight through. Nobody uses blinkers either, do they? I mean, I try to, but I don't always remember. Right, home sweet home, back at Grandad's house. Might as well I'll hook up to this trailer again if we can. There you go. Leave that there, we'll use that again. Get some more of this loaded up. We've got a huge amount of strawberries again. 
August. We can check out the price of strawberries in August. They're not the best. They're going back up again, but they're going to drop. We've got to wait till February, really. That's that's where the money's going to be at. Look at this. Look at the price of um, lettuces. Maybe we should just go straight to lettuce. But I think strawberries, if we look at the price of strawberries, say they go back up a little bit. So 1600 bucks. They're going to go up a bit more. So maybe about four grand or something for those. But if you have a look, um, so for one 64 water, we get 32. For 64, we get 128. So we're producing twice as much strawberries as we are lettuce. And we're doing even, even Stevens. Actually, that's four times as much strawberries as we are lettuces. So, yeah, I think we should, maybe we should change them all to lettuce because maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll wait till we hit about 10,000 litres of strawberries and tomatoes over here and we'll change them straight to lettuce. Had a bit of an issue here too where the crop sort of just half died. Uh, I don't know if I've maybe ran over it or something, or if it's just died by itself. Bit of a failure. Yeah, 3,000 litres of tomato. So once they get to 10,000 litres, maybe we can change it over to lettuces. But anyway, guys, uh, what we'll do is we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.